Hear what the Lord is saying unto the church. I'm going to read Isaiah chapter 3 and read the 12th verse. It says, As for my people, children are their oppressors, and women rule over them. O my people, they which lead thee, cause thee to err, and destroy the way of thy path. What is the Lord saying? Is he saying that unto the world? No, he's not. He is saying that unto the church. As for my people, children are their oppressors, and women rule over them. O my people, they which led thee cause thee to err and destroy the way of thy paths. You see what the Lord is saying unto the church. I'm going to read Isaiah chapter 3 and the 10 verse. Look what it says. Say ye to the righteous that it shall be well with, with, the, with him for they should eat the fruit of their doing. What is the Lord saying unto the church? And him saying, Say ye to the righteous that it should be well with him, for they should eat the fruit of their doings. Let's see what the Lord is talking about. John chapter 15. What is he saying about the righteous? John chapter 15. And I'm going to read the 16th verse. Look what it says. It says, Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you, and ordained you, that ye should go and bring forth fruit, and that your fruit shall remain, that whatsoever ye should ask of the Father in my name, he may give it you. Look what the Lord said. I'm going to go to Galatians chapter 5. Galatians chapter 5. Galatians chapter 5 and the 22 verse. Galatians chapter 5 and the 22 verse to the 25th verse. I want to pay close attention to it. And look what it said. Starting at the 22 verse. It says, But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance, against such there is no law. And they that are Christ have crucified the flesh with affection and lusts. If we live in the Spirit, let us also walk in the Spirit. Now, you see what the Lord is saying in Isaiah chapter 3 in the 10th verse. He says, Say ye to the righteous that it shall be well with him, for they should eat the fruit of their doing. And what is it all about in eating the fruit of their doing? Galatians chapter 5 and the 22 verse to the 23rd verse, the 22. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law. Now I'm going to go to Isaiah chapter 3, and I'm going to read the 11 to the 13th verse. Starting at the 11th verse, look what it says. It says, Woe unto the wicked! It should be ill with him, for the reward of his hand should be given him. As for my people, children are their oppressors, and women rule over them. O oh, my people, they which led thee causes thee to err, and destroy the way of thy path. The Lord stand up to plead and stand to judge 
the people. Now you hear how the Lord put it as he was saying about woe unto the wicked. It shall be ill with them. For the reward of his hand should be given him. What should be given him in the reward of his hand? Isaiah chapter 3 and the 12 verse put it plainly and let you know what it's all about. As for my people, children are their oppressors, and women rule over them. O my people, they which led thee cause thee to err and destroy the way of thy paths. You see how it's being put? Now, come to understand by children oppressing and women ruling over them, the Lord say that cause an uh, error causes his people to err. And by causing them to err, look what it would do. It would destroy the way of thy paths. You see what the Lord is saying unto the church. Now, look what I'm going to read unto the church. Galatians chapter 6. The seven to the eight verse. Starting at the seven. It say, Be not deceived, for God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. For he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. But he that soweth to the spirit shall of the spirit reap life everlasting. You see what the Lord is saying? Now, come to understand how this is being put unto the church. He said, as for my people. Who is he talking about when he says, as for my people? He's talking about the church. Okay? And he put it in a way where we would all to come to understand. It's like this. As he's saying unto the church. Isaiah chapter 3 and the 10th verse. He say, ye, say ye to, listen to what's being said. Say ye to the righteous that it should be well with him for they should eat the fruit of their doing. Now look, that's his church of what he said of the righteous by the fruit of their doing. What is he talking about? The fruit of the Spirit as what was read unto you all earlier as what he's saying. John chapter 15, he put it plainly and he tells us this about bringing forth fruit and that our fruit will remain. Now, look what he also said concerning the church. Okay, he said this in Isaiah chapter 3. In the 12th verse, he said, As for my people, Children are their oppressors, and women rule over them. O oh, my people, they which led thee cause thee to err and destroy the way of thy paths. Look how the Lord is putting it unto the church. What he would see of becoming of the righteous. They'll eat up the fruit of their doing. But the wicked, it shall be ill with him. Look how the the beginning of the 11th verse says, it says, Whoa! That's something not to please. It's a woe that what it would do, work ill to you. Okay? And as it working ill to you, what the Lord say? As you being wicked, woe unto you, the wicked. It shall be ill with him. For the reward of his hand shall be given him. What is the reward of his hand in you being wicked? There's a war to it that what bring it forth ill with you. And the twelve would first put it plainly what it's about. As for my people, children are their oppressive, and women rule over them. O my people, they which led thee caused thee to err and destroy the way of thy path. What do you see happening now? 
not just only in certain places, but what? Children are oppressing all over. And what? Women get the idea to rule over. When you see these things of children oppressing and women ruling over them, you see what the Lord say, what caused that? The loving voice put it plainly. Woe unto the wicked, it shall be ill with him. For the reward of his hand shall be given him. Look at it. As for my people, how many people say they of God or of some other God, but in what the Lord is saying, as for my people here, he talking about the true and living God when he say, as for my people. Now, learn this. When it comes down to righteousness itself, look how the Lord put it. You got all kinds of form of religion out today. They tell you about doing it right and in righteousness. But the only righteousness what the Lord is talking about here is His people. See, the, the tenth verse put it plain, see, He took the righteous. Who is the one that came forth first with doing righteous? Now, think on it. See, because Jesus Christ was the only one came into the world to fulfill all righteousness. Amen. Look how Matthew chapter 3 and the 15 verse put it. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Suffer it to be so now. Suffer it to be so now, for thus it becometh us to fulfill all righteousness. Then he suffered him. Now, you see how it is being put unto the church. Many people would say they talk in right as in a way of righteousness, but there is only one righteousness by God through His Son, Jesus Christ. That was put plainly for us to understand. So when you see what the Lord is saying in Isaiah chapter 3 and the 10th verse, Say ye to the righteous that it should be well with him, for they should eat the fruit of their doing. So what is this? righteousness is all about. Okay? I want you to pay close attention because it got many people won't point you to a way of right that is right, but is it the righteousness of God, which is by through His Son Jesus Christ. I want you to pay close attention to how this being said because look how the Lord put it about the righteous and he also put it about the wicked that it would be ill with him. Okay? Look how 1 John chapter 3 put it unto the church. Okay? Look how he, he put it. Okay. Look how it being put. 1 John chapter 3 and look what I'm going to start off with. The first verse and go all the way to the third verse. Starting at the first verse. They say, Behold, what manner of love the Father hath bestowed upon us that we should be called the sons of God. Therefore the world knoweth us not because it knew him not. But love, now are we the sons of God, and it do not yet appear what we should be. But we know that when he shall appear, we should be like him, for we should see him as he is. And every man that had this hope in him purify himself, even as he is pure. Now, look how the Lord put it with the four verse. And I'm going to go all the way to the sixth verse. Now we'll go back to Isaiah 
chapter 3, and I'm going to read unto the church the 12 verse. It says, As for my people, children are their oppressors, and women rule over them. O my people, they which led thee caused thee to err and destroy the way of thy path. You see what the Lord is saying about destroy the way of thy paths. Now, I'm going to 1 John chapter 3, and look what I'm going to read, what he said about the wicked. First, it was told unto you all about the righteous. Now we're talking about the wicked. And what kind of wicked is he talking about? First, John chapter 3, the fourth verse, and I'm going to go all the way to the sixth verse. Pay close attention. Starting at the whole verse. He said, Whosoever transgresseth, with whosoever, pay close attention, whosoever committed sin transgresseth also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. And you know that he was manifest to take away our sins. And in him is no sin. The sixth verse for the planet. Whosoever abided in him sinneth not. Whosoever sinneth hath not seen him, neither know him. You see what it's all about? Now, look how he trying, the Lord trying to get the church to understand it. Okay? The seventh verse, all the way to the eighth verse. Look what the seventh verse start now. It says, Little children, let no man deceive you. He that doeth righteousness is righteous even as he is righteous. He that committed sin is of the devil. For the devil sinned it from the beginning. For this purpose the Son of God was manifest, that he might destroy the works of the devil. Now you understand how the Lord is putting it unto the church. What is he trying to say? What all going on now, all over the earth itself, as you would say, meant, some would say the world, is evident and it is facts. As for my people, children are their oppressors and women rule over them. O oh, my people, they which led thee, caused thee to err and destroy the way of thy past. We go around talking and saying, I wonder What's going on with the people? Why are they doing that? Well, learn this, people. It's nowhere in here the Lord say certain kind of people going to be what many point the finger at one another. Just come to realize it. The Lord is no respect of person in what he say what people going to do. As for my people, children are the oppressor. He didn't specify any kind of certain culture. The Lord was talking about the whole earth itself, not specific people. There's nowhere you can go in a place right now where you can't say that children are not oppressing. You cannot go nowhere in any other culture way and say that women are not ruling. What I'm trying to get you to see there's a good with the bad. So what causing the earth to be the way it is today, the church just don't want to admit the fault is not in the world. The fault is in you by what? Transgressing against God's word. What is it all about? People lie with their love. You hear what I'm saying? People lie with their love. Where do you find that then? In your church. A world person would usually admit they hate that person. But a church folks would lie. That's why the Lord say, as for my people, children are their oppressors, and women rule over them. O oh, my people, they which led thee, caused thee to err and to destroy, and destroy the way of thy past. Is who fault? The church by what? Transgressing. Learn this. 
What brought on mankind in killing? It's evidence and there is proof women rule over the man. What rule over man in the church? Adam and Eve had represent the church. Eve ruled over, over Adam. Look what I'm going to read to you in 1 John chapter 3 and look how it goes, it's being put. The 11th verse, 1 John chapter 3, the 11th verse to the 12th verse. Pay close attention. The 11th to the 12th verse. It says, for this is the message that we heard from the beginning, that we should love one another. Not as Cain who was of that wicked one, and slew his brother, and wherefore slew he him? Because his own works were evil, and his brother righteous. What's going on today? The 13th verse put it plainly. Marvel not, my brethren, if the world hates you. What is it about the world hate you? Learn this. If you call yourself to whatever you say who you worship or whatever name you give it. If you don't do it according to what the scriptures say, who is the main one came into the world? For that the righteousness in us would be perfect in the eyesight of God where the Lord let us know about us being the sons of God. God has sent his son, Jesus Christ, for that. To fulfill all righteousness in us. You got people talk about doing things right, which would be saved that's righteousness. But if it don't be the righteousness that fulfilled of Jesus Christ in us, that righteousness, as what the Lord say, is as filthy rags. The Apostle Paul tell us this here about in establishing our own righteousness. Many people establish their own righteousness by of someone else's way of right, of being righteous, but our righteousness should be the fulfilling of the righteousness that came by Jesus Christ and no other. Okay? So why the Lord says, for my people? Why he put the word woe to the wicked? He said, ill with him. Because of what? The reward of his hand should be given him. What is the reward of his hand? Should be given him if he departs from that righteousness. What would happen? Children go oppressed. Women go rule over the man. That's the two main things. And look how the Lord put it. They which lead thee cause thee to err and destroy the will of thy path. Are you listening? I hope you understand how the Lord put me. Learn this. What righteousness the Lord telling us about in doing righteousness? See, we would look upon to get some other person name or some kind of idol as in the way of worship. It won't go by what you say is right the way it's supposed to be done or another main name other than the name of Jesus Christ. But you got to go by the righteousness which is of God by His Son Jesus Christ because God sent Him into the world to fulfill the righteousness in us. The right way. And look how 1 John chapter 3 put it unto the church. Okay, pay close attention. The 10th verse. Well, the 9th verse. And the 10th verse. Pay close attention. The 9th verse. 10th verse. Also, whosoever is born of God do not commit sin. For his seed remaineth in him, and he cannot sin because he is born of God. In this, the children of God are manifest, and the children of the devil. Whosoever doeth not righteousness is not of God, neither he that loved not his brother. 
Yeah, I mean, say it. Let me share this with you. Why some proclaiming that the serving of God or worship of God, but look what is happening upon this earth today. What are you seeing? You see in this type of spirit that hit the church. That hit all over the world. And what is it? Galatians tell you about it. Galatians chapter 5 tell you about it. Look what has happened. Galatians chapter 5. The 13 verse. And look at the warning. Galatians chapter 5 to 13 all the way to 15 verse. Look what's being said. The 13 verse. It says, For brethren, ye have been called unto liberty. Only use not liberty for occasion to the flesh, but by love serve one another. For all the law is fulfilled in one word, even in this. Thou should love thy neighbor as thyself. But if ye bite and devour one another, take heed that ye be not consumed one of another. So what you proclaim and whatever you, you say you worship or serve or don't serve nothing at all, look what become of both sides. But if ye bite and devour one another, take heed that ye be not consumed one of another. Galatians chapter 5 in the 15th verse. Look what would become of you. No one win. And look what is happening on the earth today. No one is winning. Thank God. And come to realize. I'm going to go back to Isaiah chapter 3. And look what I'm going to read. I want you to pay close attention. Isaiah chapter 3 and the fifth verse. Pay close attention. They say, and the people should be oppressed. Everyone by another. And everyone by his neighbor. The child should behave himself proudly against the ancient. And the base against the armor. Are you listening? Do you see this hill going on this earth today? Yes, it is. What causing it? Who causing it? We got to find out. I see a chapter 3. And the twelve voice tell you, As for my people, children are their oppressors, and women rule over them. O oh, my people, they which led thee caused thee to err, and to destroy the way of thy paths. Look what I'm going to read unto the church. Children are their oppressor. Look what Second Timothy tells us. I want you to pay close attention. Second Timothy chapter 3. And I'm going to read the second verse. It says, For men should be lovers of their own self, covetous, boastful, pride, blasphemous, disobedient to parents. Unthankful, unholy. Look at it. Disobedient to, pa to parents. Is the Lord reforming that unto the people of the world? No. He's saying that about those that don't want the righteousness of Christ be fulfilling them. What? Doing things by transgression. And look what I'm going to read. 
also. You see the children being disobedient to parents? Look what else the Lord put in 2 Timothy chapter 3. 5th, 6th verse, 7th verse, 8th verse. Pay close attention people. The 6th verse. It says for, uh, well the 5th verse is starting there. Having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof. From such turn away. For of this sort are they which creep into houses and led captive silly women. Led with divers, with led captive silly women, led with sins, led away with divers lusts, ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. Now as Janice and Jebris which stood Moses, so do these also resist the truth. Men of corrupt mind reprobate concerning the faith. See what the Lord said? And look at it plainly. 2 Timothy chapter 3 and I'm going to read from the first verse all the way to the 8th verse and pay close attention to the church. Do it look like we're living in a perilous time? Yes, of course. Let's start off with the first verse. This know also that in the last days, perilous time, perilous time should come. For men should be lovers of their own self, covenant, boastful, pride, blasphemy, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truth breaker, false accuser, incontinent, fierce, despise of those that are good, traitor, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasure, more than lover, lovers of God, having the form of godliness, godliness, but denying the power thereof. From such turn away. For of this sort are they which creep into houses and led captive silly women, led with sins, led away with our lusts. Never learn it and never be able to come to the knowledge of the truth. Now as Janice and Jebris, which stood Moses, so do these also resist the truth. Men of corrupt mind reprobate concerning the faith. You see how the Lord is saying this unto the church. See, why go around here in Walnut and see what's going on? What's happening? What is happening? That's what we say. What's going on? I'm confused. But the Lord let us know that he's not the author of confusion, but of peace. Are you listening? Why is these things going on? The Lord didn't put it plainly in his word. Why is this going on? It's because of Isaiah chapter 3 in the 12th verse. As for my people, children are their oppressors, and women rule over them. O oh, my people, they which led thee caused thee to err and destroy the way of thy paths. That's the reason why. What happened as the Lord said in the time of Noah? He said, so shall it be. He had other sons of God that were serving God during the time of Noah. But they fell into the hands of the daughter of men and they started ruling over them. And the Lord said the earth got corrupt. And look, violence filled the earth. Learn this. A woman got a big place in as saying serving God. But she got to come realize there's an ordinance made. God, Jesus Christ, man in woman. Like this, who was the first one in the transgression? It was the woman when it come down to Adam and Eve. What happened? The serpent revealed himself unto Eve, and Eve taught it to Adam. And when she taught it to Adam, that caused 
the word of the wicked one seed to get Adam to believe in what she said. And the twain became one in it. Where what she told him convinced him to believe it. In it. And that's where the serpent put his authority over the man. Where the Lord said that he don't want a woman to teach no usurp authority over the man. And as he said in Genesis, the desire should be to your husband and he should rule over thee. So women, preachers, or whatever you call yourself, usurping authority over the man in the church, like this, just look on, upon you. You better be careful and be aware that you causing it. I'm going to leave you with this here scripture. Look what the Lord say you're going to say when all this go on. And I'm going to leave you all with this. And look what I'm going to read. Look what I'm going to read. Jeremiah chapter 4. Okay. Jeremiah chapter 4. The 30, the 31 verse. And when thou spoil, what would thou do? Do thou clothe thyself with crimson? Do thou deckest thee with ornaments of gold? Do thou rinse thy face with pain? In vain should thou make thyself fair? Thy lovers would despise thee. They will seek thy life. For I have heard a voice as a woman in travail, and the anguish of her that bring forth her first child. The voice of the daughter of Zion that bewail herself, that spread her hands saying, Woe is me now, for my soul is weary because of murderers. You see what you're bringing? It's on your fault, preacher, man, that having women to preach, to teach, to usurp authority over the man in the church. She could do anything as a way of in doing, but that God don't allow. Because the woman sent it from the beginning in the transgression pertaining to the church. The devil sent it from the beginning and he passed it on to Eve and Eve passed it on to Adam. Okay? So, I'm saying this because too many people walking around here want to know why all this is going on all over the earth. You done got your answer. It's going on because of that simple scripture. Isaiah chapter 3 and the 12 verse. Right now, the church is without excuse. We are without excuse. We cannot make excuse now for what's going on. The Lord is telling you what causing it. He says, for my people, children are their, their oppressors, and women rule over them. Who are my people, they which led thee, cause thee to err and to destroy the will of thy dad. My purpose is the gift of truth. Why? So you will stop blaming the true and living God concerning this. This is happening because of you, of what you're doing against the true and living God. You understand that? Because listen to me. The Lord give us a law. Romans chapter 7 and the 12 verse tell us. The law is holy. The command is holy. Just and good. Are you listening to me? Romans 
chapter 7 in the 12 verse. Wherefore the law is holy, and the commandment is holy, and just, and good. And learn this, and come to realize it. Romans. Listen to me, please. I want you to pay close attention to what's being said. Okay, pay close attention. Romans chapter 10 and the fourth verse. Romans chapter 10 and the fourth verse say, For Christ, Romans chapter 10 and the fourth verse, For Christ is the end of the law, for righteousness to everyone that believes. If you don't go by Christ, the end of the law, for the righteousness to everyone that believe. Look what God become to be. As for my people, children are their oppressors, and women rule over them. O oh, my people, they which let thee cause thee to err, and destroy the way of thy path. For Christ is the inner law of the law. For righteousness to everyone that believe. Isaiah chapter 3 and the 10th verse. Say ye to the righteous that it shall be well with him, for they shall eat the fruit of their doing. Through who? Through Christ, which is the end of the law. For righteousness to everyone that believe. That's what I leave the church with. So we are with our excuse. We cannot say that, look, God didn't let us know why this is happening. Many people are saying they're confused. They say they don't understand. Some will walk up to people who they don't even know. Why is this going on? Like this. And realize many people are living a lie. And many believe that what they're doing, they're doing God's service by killing. Why is it like that? They don't want to do it God's way. God's way is this here church. God's way is the way by His Son Jesus Christ that which say, I am the way, the truth, and the life. That's God's way. And if you don't do it God's way, the Lord tell us in His Word, if we don't do it His way, if we don't do it His way, look what Psalms tell us, if we don't do it His way. Psalms 9. The 16 and 17 verse 16. The Lord is known by the judgment which he executes. The wicked is the wicked is snared in the work of his own hands. Agion, Hagion, Selah. The wicked should be turned into hell in all nations that forget God. Are you listening? I learned this and come to realize it. There's no other way but Jesus' way. Why honor whatever God you say you serve and then you're going to steal God's word and use some things what Jesus said going to be on this earth. It ain't happening. But you're not going to honor Jesus Christ. Shame on you. 
sting on you. That's why the Lord said, you steal his word. Many ministers out there coming out with belief want to honor their name or some other person's name. And guess what? Going to say something pertaining to Jesus Christ, which is the word. You're stealing God's word. You're going to have to give account to that. Look what I'm going to read. Matthew chapter 16. Look what God church should be about. The true and living God. Matthew chapter 16 is 15 verse. To the 18 verse. 15 start now. He said unto them, but whom say ye that I am? And Simon Peter answered and said, Thou the Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Blessed art thou, Simon Bajana, for flesh and blood had not revealed it unto thee, but my Father which is in heaven. And I say also unto thee, that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. And I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom, of heaven. And whatsoever I should bind on earth should be bound in heaven. And whatsoever I should loose on earth should be loose in heaven. Listen to what's being said, church. Listen to what's being said. Do you hear that? Hear what the Lord say. How the gates of hell cannot prevail against you. Knowing that Jesus Christ is the Son of the living God. What is Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God? Christ in you, the hope of glory, living in you. Thank on me. I am crucified with Christ, nevertheless I live, yet not I, but Christ living in me. And a life which I now live in the flesh. I live by the faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Galatians chapter 2. Are you listening? Galatians chapter 2. In the 20th verse. The Lord Jesus put it plainly, without him we can't do nothing. You cannot be saying the true and living God, but why you want to steal his word? Honor the word that what Jesus said, but yet go on another man named through something else of our own righteousness and some other God. Who the Lord talking to? Look who I'm talking to. And this is what I'm going to leave you with. Who the Lord talking to? The second epistle of John. The first chapter. The ninth verse. Whosoever transgressed and abide not in the doctrine of Christ had not God. He that abide in the doctrine of Christ, he had both the Father and the Son. Look what the tenth said in the eleven. If there come any unto you and bring not this doctrine, Receive him not into your house, neither bid him God's speed. For he that bid in him God's speed is partaker of his evil deed. What kind of person are you or who are you? When you're honoring yourself and honoring one another and honor a some strange God other than the truth and living God. These things should not be. It's all I'm gonna leave you with. Jeremiah 23 and the 30 year verse. Therefore behold I am against the prophets, say the Lord, that steal my words, every one from his neighbor. That's all I leave you with. Amen.